Each candidate will have two minutes uninterrupted to answer my first question. The debate commission will then turn on their microphone only when it is their turn to answer. We have done an incredible job on health care, and we're going to do even better. Okay. Are we dangerous? You tell the people it's dangerous now? What should they do about the danger? And you say, I take no responsibility. Let me talk about your two. Excuse me, I take, Very full, I take full responsibility. It's not my fault that he came here. It's China's fault. I take full responsibility. It's China's fault. The foreign countries are paying you a lot. Russia's paying you a lot. China's paying you a lot. And your hotels and all your businesses all around the country. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You make three and a half million dollars, Joe. Joe got three and a half million dollars from Russia, and it came through Putin. How would you lead the country during this next stage of the coronavirus crisis? It's a worldwide pandemic. It's all over the world. You see the spikes in Europe and many other places right now. And we're fighting it, and we're fighting it hard. There is a spike, and there are some spikes and surges in other places. They will soon be gone. We have a vaccine that's coming. It's ready. It's going to be announced within weeks, and it's going to be delivered. I can tell you from personal experience that uh, I was in the hospital. I had it, and I got better. I got better very fast, or I wouldn't be here tonight. And now they say I'm immune. Whether it's four months or a lifetime, nobody's been able to say that, but I'm immune. 220,000 Americans dead. Anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as president of the United States of America. The expectation is we'll have another 200,000 Americans dead be time between now and the end of the year. We just wore these masks, the President's own advisors have told me. We could save 100,000 lives. And we're in a circumstance where the President thus far and still has no plan, no comprehensive plan. What I would do is make sure we have everyone encouraged to wear a mask all the time. I would make sure we move in the direction of rapid testing, investing in rapid testing. I would make sure that we set up national standards as to how to open up schools and open up businesses so they can be safe and give them the wherewithal, the financial resources to be able to do that. What will you say in your address to, America, to Americans who did not vote for you? Success is going to bring us together. We are on the road to success. But I'm cutting taxes, and he wants to raise everybody's taxes, and he wants to put new regulations on everything. He will kill it. If he gets in, you will have a depression, the likes of which you've never seen. I will say I'm an American president. I represent all of you, whether you voted for me or against me. And I'm going to make sure that you're represented. I'm going to give you hope. We're going to move. We're going to choose science over fiction. We're going to choose hope over fear. We're going to choose to move forward because we have enormous opportunities, enormous opportunities to make things better. All right. I want to thank you both for a very robust hour and a half of fantastic debate. Really appreciate it. President Trump, former Vice President Joe Biden. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night.